Hi. Welcome to the bonus tutorial on exporting your model from Nomad Sculpt to Blender. Many people have a question about how to prepare the model for export and how to transfer all the textures and materials so that they are displayed correctly in Blender. Let's start by preparing the model. You can export your model with a high resolution mesh, but I prefer to optimize it to make it easier to work within Blender. In order to check how much your model weighs, you need to make sure you have scene statistics enabled. This item is located here. To expand a statistic, just click on it once and you'll see each item in your scene, and next to it, you'll see its weight. You can optimize every element in the scene. Let me show you how to do this with a mask example. I noticed that the predator mask is almost 2 million polygons. In order to reduce the number of polygons and not lose your texture, we will use the decimation function. This function will by default reduce the number of polygons by 50%. Let's leave the settings as they are and just click on the decimate button. In order not to waste time, I reduce the density to about 9000 polygons. Of course, this may be individual for you, so don't get too carried away with optimization and see that the quality of your models does not suffer. Important note. Actual for version Nomad 1.65. In order to export your texture and material layers correctly, you need to merge them with the base paint layer. To merge a layer, click on this icon. Sculpting layers are exported correctly and you can manage them in the Blender by going to the Vertex Group section. If you have done everything I told you earlier, we can move on to exporting the model. To do this, go to the Export section and select the GITF format. Check the Export settings and enable the checkboxes as in my example. Now press Export to GITF 2.0. In the dialog box that appears, select Save to Files and upload the final model to your iCloud. Let's switch to our Blender. In the Import menu, select the GITF 2.0 format file. After a while, your model will appear on the scene. As you probably noticed, all light sources were copied too. If you did everything right, then when you switch to render mode, the model will be fully textured. But in order for the roughness and metalness maps to be transferred correctly, you need to tweak the shader a little bit. I just add surface scattering to make the skin look more realistic. And now I am duplicating the node vertex color and separating the channels using the separate XYZ node. Now, I connect X with roughness and Y with the metalness channel. That's all. This is what the model looks like after applying this shader to all parts of my Predator figure. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out my Predator sculpting course, link in the description. Bye.